Hey everyone, welcome back to the Summer Pie series and today we're going to talk about our next extension to building our updated GAN, which is the use of autoencoders and UNETs. Autoencoders have been theorized since even as far back as the 1980s. First proposed by Hinton and Rumelhart, mentioned in a paper by Ballard and even further studied by Zipser. In the paper by Ballard, we have a very simple figure for what an autoencoder looks like. We pass in an input to a neural network and the generated feature representations should aim to reconstruct that input. And we've seen so many different applications for autoencoders from the research that we previously discussed, and we're going to see a different way to use it when we generate our updated GAN. So let's go a little deeper into what autoencoders are and what they do. So let's imagine an autoencoder. You have a network that downsizes inputs continuously as we saw before except instead of converging it into a single output like classification, we use the features to upsize and reconstruct a particular output. We can take this a little further. To visualize it a little better, let's rearrange this network into a U. At the very base, we'll use ResNet. We'll again use skip connections, but in a different way, passing the downsizing layers to the upsizing layers. Doing this was seen to help with more stable training and faster convergence. This architecture was presented by Roenberger et al. where they use UNETs to perform biomedical image segmentation. Using these UNET autoencoders allows us to create a conditional GAN. Remember how before we didn't need to pass in any special inputs to generate images? We just used the latent Z vectors. The use of autoencoders makes this a conditional generator now, because it will require a unique input. The loss in conditional networks works exactly the same as before. To measure loss, we stack the prior frames with the generated frames and the target frames, and then we ask the discriminator which sets are real and fake. Isola et al. from Berkeley Research used the unit as a generator in their pix to pix GAN used for image-to-image -image translation. And that wraps up the short introduction to autoencoders and UNETs. In the next video, we're going to build a unit so we could use it in our updated GAN, which will train on some simulated ball dynamics. So I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.